High-tech startups are gathering in Halifax this month to help the Royal Canadian Navy with a problem. It's how to deal with rust on their ships. Brett Ruskin spoke with Defence Department officials about the event. He joins us now from Halifax. Uh, Brett, rust never sleeps, in a, particularly in a salt water environment. What can you tell us about these new technologies being tested? Yeah, John, so they're using uh, ultrasonic devices, magnetic sensors, uh, even drones, all kinds of gadgets and, and machines to try to help the military to save money in its fight, its ongoing fight against corrosion aboard its ships. ASMD North at 5. Canada's Navy has all kinds of ways to defend against threats at sea. But there's one enemy they simply can't avoid rust. If there's, you know, a hole in the ship where you have water bellowing in, you have a serious problem. Before it gets to that point, though, maintenance teams work to inspect ships, spot corrosion and replace parts. Trouble is, right now, when they do find rust, it's hard to tell how far it's spread. So you literally have to cut a hole in the ship and then replace it with steel. That's what that what's what the main issue is uh, for, for cost. It could be, you know, you think it's going to cost you a million, but it turns out it's going to cost you 20 million. Searching for a better way, they built a sandbox, inviting innovators to come test their equipment on real life ships and on replica sections like this one with rust specifically hidden in certain spots. This sandbox project gave us a, an opportunity to understand more what industry needs from us. His company uses magnetic sensors to map what's beneath layers of paint or insulation. The red color indicates uh, uh, significant area of rust. Or corrosion. Corrosion. Yeah. Other companies used acoustics to tap on the metal and analyze the sound waves. And some used drone mounted ultrasound machines, the same technology used by doctors to check on unborn babies, including using gel to get a clear image. Overall, it's a win-win process. Companies get access to ships to test their gear, and the military gets an up-close look at the latest rust detection solutions, all with the possibility of a contract being drawn up. So if we see uh, a viable option, um, there's, there are tools in place for us to actually go ahead and start the procurement process. And so this sandbox project where companies can come and play and test out their equipment, their high-tech gear, uh, continues on for most of this month. And so there's uh, been folks here from uh, BC, Ontario, Quebec, uh, south of the border as well, who you know paid on their own dime to come here and test out this equipment to get this opportunity to, again, see how their high-tech solutions can deal with this low-tech problem of rust on ships. John. Uh, Brett, you may know one of my hobbies is old vehicles, and I know that when the minute you strip a vehicle down, the minute the metal is exposed, it gets rusty. It happens virtually overnight. So are they talking about using these high-tech strategies on some of the older vessels out there or new? Yeah, I know, and I'll tell the companies to head over to your place after they're done with the ships here. Uh, but the uh, these vessels, the the, the 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 target for these vessels, both old and new. So you see uh, HMCS Glace Bay behind me. This actually was uh, one of the ships that they were using to test. It has, you can see, some rust on it now. So as a way to identify the rust and to try to prioritize which areas might need the most work, but also uh, just down the way, we're building the uh, Arctic and offshore patrol ships, testing out to see if the new ships have rust as well. John? Good advice. Send them right over. I got a few projects for them. Thanks for this, Brett. CBC's Brett Ruskin reporting live from Halifax.